Cancer. How's it going? Let's check out your week. What's happening? Okay, we're starting off with the wands for you. Three of wands. So, you know, have some foresight. See your vision. I'm hearing to visualize a lot this coming week. Really go into what you want to be, what you want to see happen. See it. Be it. Feel it. Build that feeling. It'll help you. You know, um, have some leadership in the beginning of this week. See your vision. Be your vision. Be with it. And it seems like that should stick around for the next month is what it feels like. So that seems pretty important. Visualization would be a good thing for you to practice. Alright, so that's how we're starting your week, Cancer. Let's see what else is going on. Cancer, Cancer. Oh, and the Page of Pentacles just fell out. Alright. Page of Pentacles. So you're back in the physical, you're working on your plans, you're adjusting step by step. So it seems like you're going to be leading some plans and you need a little bit of foresight to make those happen. Um, it's definitely a good time. You know, it feels like a very fortunate time coming up and you know, teamwork makes the dream work, so remember to include others. You know, it's not just you. When visions combine, that's when great manifestation takes place, so think about that. Oh, and then as I said that, the world introverted. Okay, so I'm hearing if you don't take the time to include others in your vision, it might not work out so well for you. So, you know, that leads to delays, frustration, you know, this world introverted definitely means that there's a lack of trust somewhere. Um, it could be discipline. You're, you're lacking discipline. You're lacking trust. Um, you know, you're, you're isolated. You're choosing to be isolated instead of letting the world in to your vision to make it work. So be mindful of that. That seems pretty important because um, there's some kind of anxiety, you know. So go into that and feel that out. Let me get you an angel card to figure out what would be a good way to deal with some of that anxiety for you this coming week about any projects that you're dealing with let's see cancer friends okay divine timing so with that card I'll pull one more to see what that relates to you know obviously divine timing it's pretty pretty much is what it says divine timing so if things aren't ready to progress then they won't you know you're only going to get dealt the cards that you're ready to receive so if you're not ready to go forward then you won't until the time is right so pay attention to the doors that are opening and shutting around you see them walk through the ones that open you know learn from the ones that shut you are definitely going to have your prayers answered. It's just a matter of when, because all the puzzle pieces need to fit at the same time. Let me get you one more card. Okay, so body care. So, you know, this divine timing can happen when you start taking care of your body a little bit better this week. So, when you feel better about yourself, then you can obviously let other people in better. And so that's the message for you. Take the time to heal yourself, to feel good about you, to take care of yourself here in the physical so that you don't have to be so frustrated. 
And remember this, the visualization, that feels really strong for you. So don't isolate yourself because that's when the anxiety forms. Take care of yourself and the divine timing will emerge. All right, Cancer, have a good week.